Hey everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about customer profiles in Lightspeed Restaurant K series. We'll begin on the order screen. We'll see that a customer has come in and ordered a salted caramel milkshake to go. And we like to track our regulars here. So to assign a customer to this order, we're going to tap the assign customer button just above the order. And we're going to search for our regular who we recognize. Seeing his name pop up, I'm just going to tap the line with his name on it. We can see that he has been added to the transaction and we can collect payment. But let's say you've tapped the wrong name and you actually have to remove a customer from an order. You can simply tap that customer's name and be given the option to remove customer from the order. And we once again have a brand new order. If a new customer has come in and has uh, agreed to be entered into the system as a repeat customer, then we can tap Assign Customer. And instead of searching for an existing customer, we're going to tap Add Customer. You'll see a pop-up on your screen making sure that you uh, get consent from the customer to be added into the system. Once you have, you can tap Continue and begin entering that customer's information. Now, in this case, she's agreed to be entered into the system, but hasn't provided any contact information. That's fine. We'll just tap select. And on second thought, after a sip of the milkshake, she says, this is so good. I really want to receive emails from you, letting me know when you've got new flavors. So we're going to add the email address to her profile by tapping the name. We'll remove her from the order so that we can tap assign customers again find her in the search field and now you can see there's the view button on her line if you tap view it'll bring up her customer profile and we'll tap edit in the upper right here we can enter in her email address and then tap select and if you tap on the customer's name you can see here that the email address has in fact been saved that concludes this video, but be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.